If you have trouble getting to sleep at night, I've got the perfect cup of tea and today I'm going to show you how to make it. Now this sleep tea I've been making for a few years now, I actually started growing some of the herbs. If you want to try this tea, you are best to actually grow the herbs yourself because that way you get a continuous supply and you know you don't have to buy them. You can buy in these specific plants if you haven't got a garden or you just haven't managed to grow them, but I would certainly recommend it. So the first herb in this tea is a plant called lemon balm. Now, lemon balm is actually quite a widespread weed, effectively. I mean, it grows in many, many hedgerows and things like that. I mean, it will be naturally occurring, but I would recommend, you know, perhaps buy some from the garden centre. They do sell it in the garden centre. I and mean, if ever you've ever smelled it, it's a, it's a part of the mint family, and you, you just have to grab the leaves, and it's a real lemon smell, really pungent lemon smell. And I'd actually started growing this for a few years, um, and one day I decided to dry a load of it, and um, I hadn't. I dried it, and I, months went by. I didn't actually try the, to, to make tea with it. And uh, absolutely honest with you, the first time I made a cup of tea and I sat down and drank it, a it tasted amazing, and b I felt pretty, pretty tired straight away. To be honest, um, it really, really just gives you that. It really just you just stop thinking about things. You just sort of, you just instantly feel tired. So you know, I highly recommend lemon balm. So it can be dried or take it fresh. So I, I like to grab it fresh, put it straight in the tea maker, and that's really good. Now a fair bit of research has been done on lemon balm and it is good for digestive function, cognitive function, and it's also good for the skin. But you know, it does have chemicals in there which will help you go to sleep for sure. The second plant is valerian. Now it's a plant that a lot of people have usually heard of, but not a plant that many people know much about. Um, with valerian it's actually the roots that you're after. If you've actually ever grown valerian and you just move the soil around at the base of the plant near the roots, the smell of them roots is really quite a distinct smell and funnily enough we've got the cat here, cats go mad for it. I've got it growing everywhere here now, it pops up as a perennial, it sort of self seeds, it's quite a beautiful plant as well. Um, but the cats, the local cats will go up to it and just sort of scratch at the roots and they just sort of roll around in the root mass. It's just got that really, really, cats, it has some sort of chemical compound in it that just drives cats mad, especially my cat, he's a bit mad anyway. He's going over to the valerian plant now. Oh, there's a surprise. Um, divide it at the base and take out a big section with the root and then give that a good old wash. Um, the roots usually have very long, consistent diameter Usually like a couple of millimetres, three millimetres, can get quite quite big, the bigger the plant. And um, what you'll do with that is you'll just dry that, you can grind it up, chop that and put that in a cup of tea. Um, that's the second herb and I find that that really, really does um, add a whole new dimension to, to this tea. It really, really makes you feel very, very sleepy. And you know, valerian has been used um, as a sleep aid for thousands of years since the ancient Greeks. So. You know, always got to take a leaf out of their book. So valerian has been proven to increase the um, production of something called GABA, which basically reduces the thoughts in the brain. It can just basically reduce the sort of nervousness in the brain. So, you know, all that sort of late night tossing and turning and thinking about things really helps with that. I mean, you know, with me, I just find, again, it, you just, you just whole body just feels so relaxed when you drink this stuff. You know, you, I've had times with a business, I'm just so stressed. And it just sort of takes you out of that and just puts you somewhere else for a little while. Um, it's really good before bedtime. I really recommend it. It's really good in this tea. I mean, if you want to grow this, you probably will have to grow it from seed. It's not really something I've seen grown as little plants in the garden centre. You might get lucky online, but um, just buy some seeds. It's quite easy to germinate and it's quite a good looking landscape plant. And when it flowers, you get really, really lovely vanilla-ish sort of smell. It's really beautiful, really beautiful to have in the garden. Now the third herb in my sleep tea is mint. Now mint is not usually something that you specifically think of when you think of 
adding to make you go to sleep but actually the the first time I put this in the tea was actually just to add a bit of flavour I just thought oh, I'll just throw a bit of mint in there and it really enhanced the whole tea's flavour overall and added a new dimension to it and you know one thing I say is I go to bed I like to have a nice evening meal and then go to bed I know they say you shouldn't do it but that's something I like to have my stomach full when I go to bed and I know a lot of people go to sleep a couple of hours after eating so mint is very well known to improve digestion so it accompanies this and actually when I did a bit more research on it I found out that it does ease the central nervous system so you know there is some relaxing benefits of um, mint as well and it oxygenates the brain so I would say them three right so we've got a lemon balm the mint and this is the valerian root usually what I do is I will just take up a young plant or dig up an existing plant um, this one I actually had to weed because it does self seed quite a lot I and mean, it was quite um, a, a yielding substantial sort of yielding plant and I just took the roots out and I've just left them on the side to dry. Now what I would do is I'd probably take like that root off there and I would just break that up into the teapot. If you haven't got a teapot, you can just do it on the saucepan and then strain it. These are handy actually. They're, they hold a litre and they've got their own little inbuilt strainer. So really, really useful. Um, can be bought on Amazon. So just load it up really. You know, when you've got loads of these materials fresh, you know, you can really put a, a decent amount in and really, really stew it well. Um, and that way you get a full hit of the, um, the compounds which uh, make you sleepy. Goes the root. Right, just pour in your boiling water and we're good to go. Right, spoil the kettle. Pour in. And yeah, you can probably see the colour of that. Got a nice sort of light greeny, yellowy colour to it. Right, now I always say that needs about 10 to 12 minutes just to brew. And the great thing with this is you can do a double brew and a triple brew and just keep, keep stewing it up. I mean, I've been doing this tea now for a few years and um, I, I drink it every night. So I just really wanted to share it with you guys. I'd certainly give it a go. Um, you can buy the lemon balm on Amazon. You can buy valerian root. I think it's a little bit more expensive. Um, but if you just want to give it a go, if you've got a problem with sleeping, I would recommend give it a go. One thing I would say with this is you have to brew it for at least 10 minutes. Okay, and you can go in. I've got a little kettle now with a little um, little strainer in the middle. So it makes it easy. But I would, and I we always go, me and my wife, every night we drink it. And we always go in for that second brew. You know, we, we well, the minute the dinner's ready, the boiling water goes in, and then after dinner we have one. I think we have. I think we drink about a litre of it each a night, actually. So it's really good to rehydrate before bed. I mean, obviously you don't want to be going to the toilet all night, but that's what we do. Do a second brew, um, go to bed, and just read a book, and you'll be gone. You might not even get to read a book. You might even just fall asleep before you even hit the hit, hit the pillow. So, but I would certainly recommend it. So there you have it. There's my best sleep tea in the world recipe lemon balm valerian root and mint get out there and try it but what i want you to do is if you do try this i want you to leave a comment and tell me what your experience with it was just want to see it's not just me now if you found the video useful it really helps me out if you give it a thumbs up and um feel free to subscribe to the channel 